Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Kutzarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for December 10th to December 16th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys this is just a, a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and it is not your personal reading therefore in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now uh, if you want me to uh, for you just like I'm doing in the examples of these videos that I'm giving and those examples are your personal situations uh, you know, uh, then this is a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, you know, as this is December, the Christmas is coming and so on there is a uh, special deal <coughs> Uh, at uh, with my services that regards to the 20 and 30 minutes uh, service and basically their prices are abated or uh, you know reduced for uh, is the better term so that being said uh, this is going to be uh, a four card tarot spread and hand tarot spread which means that we're going to use multiple cards into position and these are the main cards so we do have the page of cups as a topic of your week six of wands as a core of the situation five of wands as a uh, challenges that needs to be overcome and the, the ace of cups which is the guidance that tarot is offering to you so for what it seems this week is going to be a, a week where you have to start preparing yourself for a, a major major change that is gonna come around further into the future not in this week but further into the future now the six of cups here is showing that you have to start reassessing positions the five of pentacles is the accompanied car of it but reassessing positions and kind of like withdrawing yourself from the minor details of your situations you know not being that um, not meticulous you know but not paying attention to the small things which are uh, aggravating you and being more focused on the grand scheme of things on the bigger picture because what we see here is, is that this change that it is about to come probably after the new year you know somewhere in the future is going to allow you to cope with many difficulties that you are facing here at many uh, at many fronts now this is going to be an, an attempt for you to resolve a lot of predicaments at your behalf and uh, if you want to take it that way you know this is going to be a um, preparation to make a big leap moving on forward to resolve financial difficulties if we take the five of pentacles as the card of financial difficulties although the five of pentacles is the card pointing to a sense of insecurity so now we are seeing you here cancer that this is going to be a week where you are to say you know enough is enough I don't want to be afraid anymore how my relationship is going to continue you know I don't be afraid anymore am I going to be jobless or not and etc etc so it's kind of like you confronting those kind of a fears of yours that are making you feel insecure and very hesitant you know to to push it's not even push but continue on forward with um, with your future and for what it seems this week is going to be a week where you are going to start addressing those issues and do whatever is necessary you know in order to uh, stabilize your positions uh, by reassessing them by reshuffling your positions either into your career or either into your um, into your relationship you know that could be the confrontation with uh, with your boss for you to uh, for you opting to uh, understand how valuable asset you are there and is there any chance of you being suspended and uh, suspended and if so then this is going to be the start where you start searching for another job you know or into your um, into your relationship these cards could also point that I from uh, a long time attempts you know for a, a 
continuous attempts that have taken a long time from the past now you finally got pregnant you know and etc etc it's just those kind of uh, new circumstances that you are that are going to make your positions much much more stable and those circumstances are to happen throughout this week December 10th to December 16th <clears throat> so where this is coming from however we do have the Six of Wands, which is uh, the core of the situation. And as we all know, the Six of Wands is the card of success, recognition and rewards. The Six of Wands here points that you were able to uh, kind of like reach a, a very important milestone, a, a checkpoint, from which checkpoint no one can bring you down. And this achievement that you have... Um, that, that you have completed recently it is exactly the foundation giving you the options available here in order to reshuffle your positions you know and to adapt better so you can in um, incorporate those kind of changes in your life either career or relationship that you so require in order to make you know um, your future much more stable and predictable and as well of your liking the card with it accompanied the six of uh, the six of wands is the strength card so uh, we are seeing here a, a very potent combination of uh, it's not even tenacity but yet say let's say a yielding approach so these cards are pointing that this milestone that you have uh, achieved recently either into your career relationship or in both it is exactly something that is giving you for the lack of a better term, I will say solace, but let's say confidence that you are on the right track. And as you know now that you are to be on the right track with whatever you are trying to push, you know, either relationship or career, from now on, uh, this is going to be, as I said, the prerequisite for you to start reshuffle, uh, reshuffling your, um, your positions. So a couple of examples here, just so you can understand it better, right? So let's see, so let's say it's about your career and these cards are pointing that now you have surprised your boss, all right? They thought that you are incapable, but you have proved them recently otherwise. You have proved them wrong and you prove it otherwise, that you are quite capable. And now they see you as a very valuable asset, which gives you the option to reshuffle your positions, to not be the outsider anymore, but to make demands. You know, this is if we're talking about career. If we're talking about relationship with these cards, you know, your partner didn't took you as serious as, uh, as they should, you know, but you prove them other, prove them otherwise, you know, that actually you are someone to reckon with, all right? And that gives you much more authority into your relationship and now is placing you on a position to dictate the rules, therefore to reassess the position to uh, positions there, to reshuffle the positions and on top of that to strengthen the uh, emotional connection that you are to have among one another. Now something else come, uh, came up to me by looking at these couple of cards, if it is a, a relationship thing. These cards are here also are saying that you are to consolidate with uh, or to quench that relationship you may have with either girlfriend or a boyfriend or with friends, you know, through difficulties, all right? The more difficult, uh, the more difficulties come from the peripheral here, the stronger you are to become. So, um, to give you an example of that, if the, um, the parents of your girlfriend, for example, does not like you, that will only strengthen your relationship you know, or if someone is trying to break your relationship, what they are doing, it is only strengthening it, all right? So, uh, that being said here, it doesn't look like the things are going to go wrong for you, cancers, at least throughout that specific week. But what is very important here is, is that even though you have reached your milestone, all right, that doesn't mean that you should give yourself a break. 
just on the contrary uh, the the ultimate job the ultimate goal is far from done and you need to continue on keep that motion that performance that you are giving either into your career or either into your relationship because if you um, drop off your guard things are gonna shit uh, shits are gonna hit the fan very very quickly and you are going to be in the starting position once again you know feeling um, insecure uh, depressed probably and despondent regarding your situations the challenges which are causing predicaments here we do have the five of wands which is a, a typical card where uh, in that specific follow-up it does point that the predicament is going to be for you to realize that right now you are the ones who you are the one who calls the shot. It's not like you are going to have a confrontations with other people, but more with your personal nature. Let's see the accompanied card. That will be yeah. That will be the five of swords. So this could go uh, in both of the extreme. All right. Uh, the challenges will be that you are way too milder now as you do have all these uh, new means at your behalf and you don't want to uh, use them because you are seeing it as abusing authority and power over people or the other extreme is that you are going to realize how big authority and power now you do have and press it with everything you got and make people do things that they don't want to. While in reality these cards are pointing that the challenge for you, Cancers, is going to be to realize or to put a definition of what is the extent of your reach. Right? So you need to realize your personal capabilities and your personal limits here throughout the week. And that is kind of understandable. All right, because we are seeing you here, you know, adopting a brand new positions, a new positions that gives you much more options available. All right, you do have your milestone reached. Now people see you in a very different way, not like an, an outsider, but as someone that they can uh, they can reckon with, and etc. etc. And that kind of boosts your confidence, you know, boosts your self esteem as well. It's going to give you a lot of sovereignty and independence, and uh, that is kind of something which you know makes you feel almighty in many ways, you know, because right now you are the one uh, who people need to oblige to in many ways. And with that specific power, the challenge for you is going to be, you know, to uh, tame it, to resist the temptation uh, to abuse this uh, new positions and this, you know, kind of like I and new options that are given to you in order to make people feel sorry for that they did not believe in you, you know, or they thought to... Um, what was the word here? They thought that they can dispose of you and etc. etc. Now, very important here to realize is that uh, these kind of like openings for you to make difference, these openings for you to take advantage of your new positions are going to start happening like out of the blue, you know, in, in completely surprising way. Uh, also, <clears throat> these cards are pointing here that sudden turnarounds are going to give you a lot of uh, of a field of empty space to to work with either in career or in relationship a lot of means what i'm trying to say here to work with and uh, you may find yourself a bit confused you know how to take advantage of all these things around you and etc etc but what you need to know with uh, the five of uh, wands and the five of swords it is that you can really make difference because we do have double fives and the double fives are uh, and a five is a number of change and also the five is a number of triversion what i'm trying to say here with the number of triversion is that you can't traverse failure into success or you can convert failure into success. It's going to be a challenging and predicament, you know, and full of predicaments because this is how these cards are falling. In what position? But it is not impossible. However, again, you have to be mindful about how big your capabilities are because what these cards are saying here is, is that if you are... Uh, 
are devoted into it and you are ready to give everything you got in order to make that achievement happening, all right? Eventually you will be able to, but the price you will have to pay for it, I'd simply more than you know. That's why it is very important to uh, be accurate, to have an accurate diagnosis of how big your capabilities are and how much resources you do possess. And the final card that we do have, this is the guidance here and that is the Ace of Cups accompanied with the uh, Four of Pentacles. So these cards are pointing that as soon as you see, you know, your options available for new positions, either career or either into relationship, is to kind of like take those positions and really make them as strong as possible <clears throat> or to uh, create a, a your personal domain of them. Uh, to give you an example in order to explain myself with that is let's say that you are uh, dating someone recently, you have reached that milestone of dating someone, you know, that you really, really like and you, you want to have and if that's the case with these cards we see a lot of passion in between you two happening and a lot of sexual drive for that matter and finally, you know, these pe that person is telling you uh, how they feel, that they I cannot say really love you very much, but it's kind of like they kind, they do have an emotions towards you. Now knowing that opens a brand new positions for you to take, like from a simple person to date with, you can take in a position of a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you know, or from a simple position of a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you can take in a new position of fiance and etc, etc. And as soon as you take that position, you need to realize you know, what uh, what your capabilities and how much new options available you do have there and not to extend them, not to overextend them, excuse me, all right? And by using those new options available, you need to make that um, new estate or a new domain of yours, the promotion into your, uh, into your work, new relationship that you may have, new state of relationship that you may have and etc etc as pleasant as possible because this with these cards is going to be your domain for quite a while as we do have these uh, uh, these two cards. On top of that, you have to guard it very well because the Four of Pentacles here points that your happiness with these new positions and your emotional fulfillment there with these new positions will come only if you are ready to guard them, you know, to um, defend them was the word that I was trying to uh, to find. So you need to have that defensive position about your belongings. And under belongings, I mean, you know, relationships, options into your career, and etc., etc. Because everybody, you know, wants more. And with the five of wands here, sometimes there is someone that wants something that you already have, right? So we cannot see, I cannot guarantee you here that you will not have any rivals throughout the week, you know, and people that want what you have, but um, they are nothing um, in comparison to how much means and power you are going to have. So the only thing that you need to do is just, you know, have the attitude to defend your belongings and uh, these arrivals are going to be no match for you, Cancers. So that was the tarot reading. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards are to say for you guys. They are to show us a event that uh, you should either look forward to or um, try to avoid. Let's see now. All right. So the first one that is going to be the stork, which stands for delivery, new era, <clears throat> and these kind of stuff, and a birth as well. Uh, then we do have the, the gentleman, which stands simply for a man. And the last one that is going to be um, the fish. The fish stands for expand, stands for money as well, a monetary success. 
So what we do have is um, an event that you can be delivered uh, a, a money through a, a gentleman that could be the raise into your uh, into your career, for example, the new positions that you are going to have, all right, or it could be as well the expand of your relationship with a, a male or uh, things to a, a male, you know, and uh, so on and so on. These cards are pointing here, these Lenormand cards are pointing that a, a male is going to deliver either on an expand or a additional finances into your life throughout this week. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, December 10th to December 16, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was just a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, <clears throat> in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.